As you can tell, I'm in Taiwan and I got into Hualien yesterday night and basically I landed at 3.30 yesterday morning and then just all the way from there I was awake until I crashed 
last night, so it was like 36 hours straight of just being awake. It felt like I had landed a few days earlier into Taiwan, but really I just landed yesterday and then I was on the train to Hualien all of a sudden and then now I'm here. I've just been eating non-stop and it's been good so far. We still have another week and a half left here. So I'm excited to see what else there is. I have like such a huge list of things I want to try because there's a lot of good food here. I think we're doing some hiking today, but yeah, like this place that I'm staying at is also really nice. It's got really good views of like the mountains, it's super quiet. Apart from the roosters, they wake you up at exactly 6.30 on the dot, they're very consistent. The breakfast was also really good. And it's owned by I think a, a couple, an older couple. Um, it's very homey and the rooms are unusually big as well here. Like the bathroom could be a room in itself, <laughs> it's so big. Yeah, the balcony where the breakfast area is is actually really nice with like really nice views and like the sun hits that area so it's super warm you just feel great if you're standing out in the balcony anyway that's my update i will catch you later but it's got a nice view. It's like the Taiwan version of Great Ocean Road, apparently. And it's got a pretty good view. I like that it's got like the mountains and then you've got the sea next to it as well with the pagodas. Pagoda. Yeah, something like that. I think it's called Pagoda, Pagoda, Pagola. I'll need to look it up later. National Park and it's pretty good it's actually really busy today for us but it's a Sunday so to be expected